In this video, I'm gonna show you what actually is the Judas Swing and why I think that some other YouTubers or people on Twitter don't actually understand what it truly is and where it came from. So in this video, I'm going to show I'm going to show you how to trade it, how to know if you are in Judas Swing or how to know if the price is gonna come back or run away. So let's get started. As you can see here, we have some patterns, some price movement. And how Judas Swing originated was for the London session to trade the Asian range. So what you wanted to do is look for Asian range high and low. And now don't worry guys, I will show you how to trade it in the New York session because I know that most of you cannot trade in London, but this is just to explain how it actually works. So we have the high and low of Asian session. And what happens is we get a fake breakout here. So you get people shorting here, setting their stop losses above this and thinking that it's going to like break out down, but it's just a fake out. Then the price runs to the stops, slaughters everyone in it. Now uh, the bullish people think that it's gonna go up and now it destroys completely everyone by going to the opposite side, getting stop sales and basically slaughtering completely everyone and where you want to trade is from the high here to the low here or what most people are teaching is what I call the half Judas and that would be from here to here so what I'm gonna show you is how to trade half Judas in the New York session because it's way easier for the price to make the full Judas swing in the London session because this range isn't that big and then the London creates way bigger range and the New York has hard time to actually going like up and down and back up again. So you want to look for the high of London from midnight to 8.30 then for the low and wait for the price to break either side can be the high or low after that wait for change of character which happens after creating new high here then the price breaks the last low that was created and you also want to wait for fair value gap to be formed which is where you want to enter and you can also enter off of an order block, which I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. And this is what, um, this is, uh, I forgot what I wanted to say, but I hope you understand this. Now, how to know if the price is going to run like this and not come back into the range. Well, it's kind of simple, you know, if you don't get the break uh, of structure or change of character, the price will most likely run and you can enter on a fair value gap that is here. I have a stop loss below this slow here and make profit on the run but look the strategy nothing is 100% win rate so you will have losses and you will also have big winners now another thing I want to talk about is where should you take profit always take profit uh, let's forget about this now let's say you entered on the fair value gap here you want to take profit on the liquidity so where is the liquidity? Well, it's here. 
where you have stops then it's here and here but best case scenario you want to enter from this to the low right here but that's actually it doesn't happen that often so what i like to do is take five handle profit then let half of my position run and trim along the way leaving my last contract for the last uh, take profit here so i'm gonna show you a couple examples now like from today or yesterday where we have midnight uh 8 30 here now we can also look at the asian range what happened there so you have the high here the low okay so you see what the price did we got fake out here faked out then the price ran for the stops like this you could have traded this and then went back down again so it's just beautiful you could have made a lot of profit on that what was that like 10 handle move with 15 handle move 25 handles but you cannot trade the london so i'm gonna show you the new york session so we have the high we have the low it's not perfectly drawn but that doesn't matter so price broke through the low we got fair value gap another one here or the block so two fair value gaps and order block where should you enter well i would try to enter on the order block and looking for the price to touch the fair value gap which is exactly what happened here you got like one quarter quarter so stop loss below the low target first liquidity which would be right wait actually no yes it would okay so first liquidity which would be like three handles so no not the best trade but you should still take it another liquidity here which was eight handles with five handle trim and as you can see the price also ran above the high and made a huge move down i was actually waiting for this drop but you know i'm not ict i cannot get every trade i just did not trust it after it break here broke here or here and then went up again didn't expect the move to be this huge but it did happen now let's look at some other random date let's see midnight 8 for a day get the high get the low here as you can see now we broke down here we got new low change of character above this one uh, yes okay now some farewell gap i cannot okay like that uh yes so farewell gap another one we have volume imbalance right here which you want to see that hold and that would kind of uh, make the trade more probable and that's what you're looking for you're looking for the highest probability of the trade so 
if I have a volume imbalance, I try to enter on the fair value gap above and use the volume imbalance as uh, not really a stop loss, but a mental stop loss. So if I would see a candle break through like this and close below, I would most likely close the trade. So enter on this one, go long, enter on consequent encouragement, take five handles in profit, stop loss would be like, you know, I would set it for five handles and wait for the volume imbalance. If it's, if it just gets the wick, I'm fine with that. But if it closes the body below, I'm gonna close the trade. So stop loss, five handles, first liquidity would be here with five handles in the way. So take five handles, another trim right here. Then you have some liquidity here, some here. So trim, you could trim here too, but you know, if you can hold through this, then your diamond hands and I do not like a 10 handle drawdown, so I wouldn't hold it probably. Maybe just one last runner to get this high right here. But as you can see, it it just does take the high, but not every time, you know, so that's what you have to learn yourself and trust yourself. And sometimes the best thing to do is just enter the trade and leave. You know, worst thing that happens is it hits your stop loss, which shouldn't be that bad. The best thing that happens is you make a lot of fucking money, which right here would be like, what? 20 handles for a like four handle stop loss. It's five points, five uh, risk to reward. The same thing was yesterday. You got long, it was it uh, this is today okay let's go to the yesterday right here you could have entered here on the order block stop loss below targeting the high 16 17 handles almost 5r this is just isn't that amazing it is so Thank you guys for watching. Uh, let me know if you what you want to learn from ICT and see you in the next one.